You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, it's a big topic, and we're talking about chronic snoring, we're talking about sleep apnea, and we're also talking about TMJ and TMD pain. And so if you have a migraine headache, or if you get migraine headaches a lot, or cluster headaches, and especially if you have a popping jaw, or wake up with a sore jaw, or your teeth, they've been, you know, they've told you, you grind, but if you are wearing a, if you've been issued a CPAP and you can't wear it because it's uncomfortable, you have to hear what my first guest has to say. He's an expert on this topic, Dr. Michael Frith. Dr. Frith, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, you're kind of the go-to center in St. Louis when it comes to TMJ and sleep disorders. The TMJ Therapy and Sleep Centers of St. Louis. For people that don't know you, who's the typical patient uh, that um, you see? We have many different categories. I'm not sure we have exactly one typical patient. That would be much easier, but we do have different categories of people. So in the TMJ side, a lot of times they're your normal person that has um, clicking and popping of the jaw joint, um, soreness in the jaw joint. A lot of these people, Randy, are in pain. So when the jaw joint is clicking or popping, it causes big problems. The brain detects a, a broken joint. And when it detects a broken joint, it starts taking all the muscles around there and tightening them up. And when those muscles tighten up, you get facial pain, big time in the temple area with migraines. You get facial pain around the jawbone. And, um, and also you get pain when you can't open your jaw very wide. Your jaw kind of sticks and you can't open very wide. And you get pain a lot of times when you're grinding your teeth too. And then your teeth become sensitive. Um, they get shorter. They don't look as good, and all of a sudden your gums recede, then you get sensitive roots from that and, and gum disease. And you can so end up losing your teeth of, because of that? Some people do lose their teeth from that. Yes, they do. Now, is this specialty if we catch, Is this specialty of dentistry? I know it's not a recognized specialty, but it's like your focus. The you know Because you are a diplomat in the cranial facial pain and cranial facial dental sleep medicine. Do you call it sleep medicine? What is it called, this study, this discipline of dentistry? Um, it's actually the, the the name is called um, craniofacial pain, um, and the and another part of it is sleep apnea, and um, the two together actually work together. Most people don't know that we have many dentists in St. Louis that are getting better at treating the sleep apnea part, but they don't know how it affects the jaw joint. Not too many people know about the jaw joint. Um, as a matter of fact, it's not um, taught in dental school. It's not taught in specialty practices. It's something that I learned from a couple mentors and just developed and got really good at it. But it is really important. It's kind of a gray area. Medicine doesn't touch it. Chiropractic don't touch it. Um, dentists don't touch it. And so when a person comes into a dentist with jaw joint problems or pain, the dentist kind of ignores it because he doesn't know what to do with it. So he just kind of doesn't mention it and just says, oh, everybody has clicking and popping. But the problem is that's not healthy. Even though I uh, brought up a lot of problems, there's also reversal things that can be done to improve this too. There's things that can be done to make them better. And it's even though we do a lot of it in St. Louis and maybe not a lot of other people do, it's a growing trend. There's 66 centers like me all around the world that treat this, this, um, these problems successfully. It's starting to be a growing, medicine, um, a, a growing um, topic in the whole health industry. We are seeing ENTs that are starting to get involved. So medical doctors, People by the way. for ear pain and ringing, and they know that they can't help it, and they send them to the dentist. Um, we get people from uh, uh, orthopedic surgeons. We get people from the oral surgery realm, the orthodontic realm. We get people from um, all kinds of people that are in the medical profession that just, they have this phantom pain they don't know what to do with it. They don't always know what to refer to a dentist. So as the word gets out more, they're realizing that, you know, sleep apnea and TMJ may be the, the unknown uh, bandit that nobody knew about. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna, I have a lot of questions for you. We're gonna take a quick break. We come back. More about the process. When somebody goes to you, they have migraines, uh, popping and clicking, un, you know, unusual wear. Maybe they have also sleep apnea, chronic snoring. So I wanna hear a little bit more about your process and we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. Today I came to Masterpiece Smiles. I've had trouble with sensitive teeth for many years. I've never been able to drink anything cold without the pain of an eight or nine. Today, he adjusted my bite. Dr. Mike is wonderful. I did a water test, cold water test afterwards and my pain level was down to a one. I would highly recommend this to all patients. 
Thank you, Masterpiece Smiles. You're wonderful. I decided, and Dr. Mike and Dr. Jeremy decided, that I needed new implants, new crowns, new veneers. Thanks to them, I have a great smile. I'm more confident. I'm happy. And it all comes down to how you feel, and it's your health. If you don't have great teeth, you're, you're not as confident. It, it's a financial uh, investment, but it was worth every, every minute that I put into it because I feel like Dr. Mike and Dr. Jeremy are truly, truly, they, they care about what they're, they're passionate about what they do, and they're, the bottom line for them is trying to make people healthier and more you're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Big topic today, it's a special edition. We're talking about new options for people that have sleep apnea or have been told they have to wear a CPAP or they have TMJ problems that are causing migraine headaches or chronic headaches, cluster headaches. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He is the uh, founder and uh, director at the TMJ Therapy and Sleep Centers of St. Louis, Dr. Michael Frith. Dr. Frith, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Randy. So you asked me earlier about the typical patient that we get, and part of the typical patient I mentioned was the CPAP, or it was the TMJ part, but we also see people with sleep problems too. And people with sleep problems, one of the categories is people that have been diagnosed with sleep apnea by a medical physician, and they are um, given a CPAP machine. The CPAP machine is a machine that actually breathes for them and pushes air into their lungs. It's a gold standard in the health industry of medicine, so it works but about half the people or more can't wear it after a month or two. Why is that? Well, a lot of times the mask, it may not fit right, doesn't make a good seal, air leaks out. Sometimes it puts too much pressure in their nose and they just get a dry mouth and, 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 and nose and they just can't get in rhythm with the breathing of the CPAP machine. So as you mentioned, 50% of the people that are wearing CPAP don't like to use them, right? Because they can't sleep with them. And I know a few people like this. It, 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 it's in their drawer, in their closet or whatever. So that means that 50% of the time it may not work. So what are you able to do as a dentist to, that can possibly wean them off of uh, or be a replacement for CPAP? Good question, Randy. The whole question is that we're trying to keep the airway open. And so one way is to use a machine to push past all the soft tissue to open up. We do it a little bit different way. We actually have something that we make that can keep the airway open so it never closes. And if it never closes, then the airway stays open. And it's a much more, in my opinion, natural way of doing so it. So these people that have sleep apnea, they're walking around, they're breathing just fine all day long, possibly. And then all of a sudden when they're laying down, they can't. So what's happening? Could you give me a dummy down version of what's going on? When you're awake, you're conscious. And the cerebral cortex up in here keeps everything going. When you're asleep, it's actually called a different state. And it's called an unconsciousness. And when you're unconscious, what happens is all your muscles relax. And when they relax, part of the muscles are in the throat, in the back of the tongue, and they collapse. So when the airway collapses because there's no more muscle tone, that's when the problem develops. So the tongue it's like drops if you had back, a garden hose. The tongue drops back, the, the jaw drops back, creates a blockage, and, they, and then they're snoring really loud or sleep apnea, they're gasping for air. So, and you can fix that, and you've done it? Oh yeah, we do it every day. So basically, when, you, when you're looking, Randy, at you or me, you see a full face, but underneath there is a lower jaw. The lower jaw is not connected to the head. As a matter of fact, many times when you look at somebody in the desert, you see a skeleton, you see the upper jaw, but you don't see the lower jaw attached because it's not attached yeah, physically, it's just muscles that hold it in place. And so, um, the lower jaw then has the ability, especially when you're no muscle tone and you're on your back, that's when the snoring and stuff is worse, your jaw can actually drop back and the tongue is attached to the jaw. And when the jaw drops back, the tongue drops back, the airway gets cut off, no oxygen. And these people, look, we, everyone watching this knows what it's like when you don't sleep, let's say two hours that night or whatever, maybe it's New Year's Eve or whatever, you're not, the next day you're not in a good mood. You're more likely to overeat. My, my medical doctors are on the show saying, if you don't get REM sleep, or if you don't sleep deep, you, you don't rebuild your neurotransmitters, you raise cortisol, stress hormones, good luck trying to lose weight when you're not sleeping very well. And so it's a whole cascade of other, other issues. So do you see reversals, like when you fix 
with a custom made mouthpiece or dental work or whatever, do you, cause I know you have a combination of therapies, but do you see people that say, oh my goodness, I have more energy. Oh my goodness, I'm have a better mood. Yeah, we do, we do a lot, um, pretty much every time because um, they're, they're spouse and they'll say, hey, you're not snoring anymore. Or I don't hear you choking and gasping in the middle of the night when you can't breathe. And so the, the spouse then for every hour, um, the, for every person that has sleep apnea, the spouse and snore loses an hour of sleep. So imagine your spouse losing one hour of sleep because it's your problem, you cause it, but they lost the sleep. And then they're crabby in the morning, they're mad at you for snoring all night. <laughs> so, but reversals we see, um, yeah, a lot of times people will definitely wake up and say, I feel better in the morning, uh, have more energy, you know, and the, over time, Sometimes people even often are able to reduce their high blood pressure medicine with their physician's approval and other things too can improve. You know, now I've been told that those mouth pieces, these custom appliances are getting, they used to be large and they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and more comfortable all of the time. And I guess not all sleep appliances are made the same way. Can you comment on that? That's true. If you don't mind, I have one here that we use commonly. It looks like two Invisalign aligners. It looks like it. And it's small, it's comfortable, it's easy to wear. You can even speak with it, even when you have it in at night. But it's a different design than what we used to make. We, we, we program it a special way. We put it in so the jaw joints are seated in the proper position. We seat it so that the teeth can't grind or wear down. We, we have little positioners on here that can actually adjust and it moves the jaw forward to open up the airway more. So we can titrate it, what we call it. And uh, it'll actually open up the airway more if it's if you still have some snoring. So it has all kinds of different features in it that are really cool to get the job now, done. You know, as we start talking about this, and we are in such a rush, I, look, I know you're using lasers, you're you're using CT scans to look at the airway. I mean, you're doing this very scientifically. It's more than just that mouthpiece, only because we've talked for about an hour on the phone preparing for this. But I'm going to have to rush you along. So the bottom line is. If you've got these problems, you've been told you have sleep apnea, if your spouse, loved one, whatever, is telling you you're snoring loudly, this could be, in some cases, a quick fix. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Moving yeah. over to TMJ, cluster headaches, migraine headaches, and this one's a big one because I can't seem to put together how the way your teeth comes together have anything to do with causing a, a headache. So let's, let's hear your best uh, easy explanation. Okay, let me give you a visual too. Okay, okay. <laughs> so. You basically, you have teeth, and that's why we're, we're dentists, okay? We work with teeth a lot, but the teeth are connected to something. They're connected to actually the jawbone. And the jawbone here goes all the way up here, and the, the bone back here goes right in front of your ear. It goes into a socket right here of the upper head. And so they're all related. Um, so a lot of times, the jaw itself, like I say, is movable, but it's connected by all these little ligaments and muscles. And that's where the important part comes in. Because if your jaw joint, if your teeth don't fit right, they will push your jaw back and you, you'll push it off the disc. You'll get a slip disc and all of a sudden you hear clicking and popping and noises. Your brain goes, uh-oh, we have a dislocated joint. What are we going to do? So it tells the muscles, lock it down, protect it. So then all these muscles here start to close up and lock it down to protect it. And then all of a sudden, then you get these headaches in your temple area, the migraines, you get the, the sore jaw muscles. And um, just all kinds of problems, locked jaw where you can't open your jaw anymore, your jaw sticks and you can't eat like everybody else. So yeah, a lot of things happen and just because that's where we work because we work with the jaw so we get responsibility for all that if we want to do it. So, you know, we talked about the problems, but they're fixable because we know what's causing them. So if we can correct the jawbone and get it in the right position, the brain goes, not a damaged joint muscles, relax. So all these muscles that are causing the migraines and the temple headaches, the tension headaches, the jaw, they all relax. And all of a sudden, you have tremendous relief. You don't have the pain anymore. Um, I have this one woman, and um, she's in her 50s, but she's had migraines ever since she's been in middle school, every day of her life, she said. And after we were able to um, get her bite corrected and do some work with her jaw joint, no more headaches. All those years, 40 some years of headaches gone, and she just blew her mind that that could really happen, that a dentist could help her with it. It was really incredible. I had another um, person that has fibromyalgia. She had all these things like chronic fatigue syndrome, and she couldn't even walk up the stairs. After we worked with her, she came back one time, and I said, how are you doing? She wasn't doing good. And I thought, that's not never happened. They always do better. I said, what'd you do? And she says, 
when I left here, I felt so good. I started walking up the stairs and taking all my clothes from downstairs upstairs that I couldn't do before. <laughs> and then I even went out and garden for a few hours afterwards. And so she says, now a couple of days later, I'm really pooped. And that's why I'm not as good as you thought I would be. And I'm like, oh, well, that's a good, bad thing, you know? So, so this is a life changer for a lot of people. And that's my goal is to give people their life, healthy life back. And so I had this one young lady, she could only, 20 years old, she could only open up 12 millimeters, which is nothing. And after we got done with her in about a few months, she could open 50 millimeters. So she could barely bite a piece of bread and it hurt to where she could open up full and eat with her friends. And it's been lasting for years and years and years. And I plan on her having her life back again. Um, we have another gal that, like I said, with the headaches, um, all those years she was living in pain and taking medicines for them. You know, they had to be affecting her stomach and her system. And now she doesn't have to do that anymore. It's just fixed. And she's like everybody else, happy and healthy. Dr. Frith, we really are out of time. We're going to bring your son, who's also a dentist, uh, on the show, uh, Dr. Jeremy Frith. And because one of the things we have really not talked a lot about is all the scientific data you're collecting to, to, to uh, help people with the migraines, help people with the sleep apnea from CTs. And we're going to have him right now on the program to talk a little bit about lasers, ozone therapy and some of the treatments you're doing to really attack this and get aggressive with it to wipe it out and give reversals. So tell me about your uh, son, his role there. Well, I'm so excited to have him working with me because we, we, we bounce things back and forth off each other all the time. Um, he has really done work a lot with newer things that I don't know I always do. He looks on the internet, he gets on chat rooms, he looks up the information, um, talks with friends. Um, goes to courses, loves to attend courses, and um, he's learning a lot of things, the technical, the detailed stuff, I don't always do, but then he will feed me that information, I'll incorporate it, so the whole practice will be able to do good. better with that. He loves the laser, he loves the ozone, and other new things. Okay, good, we're gonna take a quick break. I wanna thank you for coming on the program, and I know you got a bunch of testimonials, video testimonials on your website, I think people should take a look at those, very impressive. So Dr. Frit, thank you, and we're gonna take a quick break. Randy, thank you so much. I enjoyed the time. You can tell I'm having fun. <laughs> and thank you for inviting me. And um, hopefully we'll continue to get people better from all this. All right, good. Uh, you're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Up next, more about what you can do about your chronic headaches and or your loud snoring or sleep apnea. We'll be right back. My name's Laura. I'm from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. It's about a two to two and a half hour drive to this office. I was wanting to get some dental work plus some cosmetic work done. I visited two different dentists where I live who didn't quite meet what I was looking for. I get the St. Louis magazine that has the top physicians in it. And that's how I found this place, Masterpiece Smiles. So I came up here and I was pleasantly surprised at everything was done. Everything was done efficiently. Um, the staff is wonderful. They make you feel like you've been friends with forever. All your needs are met and I could be more pleased with this place. It was determined that I do have significant sleep apnea. I've been to other doctors. I had asked them about my quality of sleep and they didn't seem to be concerned. Dr. Frith was concerned. So he helped me out with um, my sleep appliance and he gave me good monitoring and always made sure that everything was appropriate. And honestly, uh, I got my quality of life back. I can now um, drive to work and not have to sleep before I go into work. That's a challenge. And I drove to Dallas for 10 and a half hours without having to take a nap. That would never have happened six months ago. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez, special edition. We're talking about new treatment options for people suffering with sleep apnea or TMJ problems that, that can be causing migraines or cluster headaches or just headaches in general but specifically people in this segment we're talking uh, to dr jeremy frith who is an expert on this topic and we're talking about what you can do if you can't wear a cpap but you your loud snore uh you've been diagnosed with um, a sleep disorder some of the newer treatment options and so we've invited dr uh, jeremy frith to talk a little bit about what he's doing with lasers to, uh, to help chronic snorers and people with sleep apnea. Dr. Frith, welcome to the program. Hi, Randy, it's good seeing you. So your, your father was on the program and he was just bragging about you. So you have traveled all over the US learning about sleep apnea treatments. Tell me about that. 
We have. Uh, we've been all over the country, many different places, learning from some top experts, uh, some different treatments to help people sleep better, uh, sleep better during the night, but also breathe better during the day. Uh, we a lot of times help people who uh, wake up multiple times throughout the night, people who snore, uh, people who wake up their spouses and get elbowed in the, the rib cage and want to sleep better in the, for themselves and for their spouse. Uh, people want to have more energy, uh, people who sometimes wake up and feel groggy, not feel well rested. So different things to help them feel more well rested. So help me understand, how does a laser have anything to do or help helping people breathe better during the night? How are you so, using the laser? With the laser, what it does is it helps kind of tone the tissue. So a lot of times when people snore uh, or lay on their back, the airway collapses. And so the laser helps kind of tone the tissue uh, so it's able to stay more open. And also a lot of times the snoring sound is from the tissue that's kind of flabby, uh, making vibrating, making noises. So the laser helps kind of tone that tissue so you don't have the vibration. So uh, when you're also, snoring, just so I'm clear, so when you're snoring, something is vibrating. Right. Correct. What is that? Is it soft palate? What is it? Yeah, it's a soft palate, uh, the kind of back part of your throat. So if you look in somebody's mouth and they go, ah, you usually see the uvula, that little droopy guy. So that is that is attached to the soft palate. So it helps tone the tissue in that area. So when you laser it, you put laser energy there, what, it, redu it shrinks it, it reduces inflammation. You say it tones it? Yes. So it's less likely to flap and make the noise. And it, it tones it from both ways. It tones it from inside the mouth and kind of in the back of the throat. The laser uh, energy goes through and helps kind of create, help improve the airway from inside the mouth and from the throat um, aspect. We have used multiple uh, treatment modalities with helping treat people with, with uh, snoring and sleeping. Uh, one patient comes to mind though with the laser, his fiance was elbowing him a lot in the middle of the night and he was kind of getting bruised ribs and she was not getting very good sleep. So she wanted to have, have this treated. So he came in and uh, was telling me kind of about this. And so let's, you know, we took a CBCT, a 3D x-ray, just to get a better idea of what actually we were dealing with. Um, and we kind of saw that he had a really long uvula and, you know, really thick, soft palate. So we used the laser. Uh, he, at the end, he was kind of like, did you even do anything? And we're like, yeah. Well, he came back next time. It was like, wow, I was sleeping much better. Uh, you know, my snoring decreased. And so we did a few more treatments. And at the end, just his fiance was super happy because she was sleeping much, much better. She wasn't waking up as much throughout the night elbowing him. He wasn't snoring as loud. His snoring had decreased substantially. Uh, he had more energy, was feeling better. And obviously, too, when he's feeling better and not keeping her up at night, she's feeling much better, too. So it was just a great, great story. So the laser kind of, you know, expands the airway by reducing the inflammation, reducing the size of some of this, like you called it, like, uh, you know, tightens it up, firms it up, kind of like what lasers do for the face in, in cosmetic surgery. Is it, it's similar in a way. Yeah. What the laser did for him is it um, kind of created a, a warm sensation in his mouth and it kind of helped tone the tissue. So tissue before that had more fluid in it and was a little inflamed uh, over time, began to shrink and was more toned. So then it didn't have the vibration uh, and noise that was created before from the uvula and soft palate vibrating. Um, but also too, because his uvula and soft palate shrank, he's able to get more air through his airway because that tissue wasn't as, as big and full now. And so air was, had more room to go through to get down to his lungs, which helped him feel get more oxygenated, um, helping him feel better during the day and get better sleep, which some people, because they're sleeping deeper, they don't have to get up to go to the bathroom throughout the night. Uh, a lot of times when you s sleep better, your body creates hormones to prevent you from having to get up to go to the bathroom. So usually if you have less quality sleep, you have to go to the bathroom more often throughout the night. Um, also, people that have sleep better during the night also have better memory, uh, able to focus better, less agitated. Um, they're not as anxious. There's also a lot of studies that are coming about relationships. A lot of times when people sleep better, if they have arguments with their um, their partner, their the arguments are much better. Um, they okay. don't have they're not as intense. So, I mean, well, you we all we all about, know if you don't it, look, we all know what it's like not to sleep. If you don't sleep, you, you don't have patience. Your patience go out the window. You're overeating. You know, you're just not in a good mood that whole day. So, if, if you could get now, do you have proof? I got to go back to this. 
So you say that you're able to open up the airway with this laser. Do you have any, how do you prove that? We can. Uh, one example is a patient came in and we used uh, the, the night lays and he literally doubled uh, his airway. So the minimum is kind of pretty amazing. He was slept much better and was feeling much better. Actually, I showed my dad because we were kind of in amazement that it had improved. So we had a team member uh, because we've been doing all these treatments for airway and improving people's airway and was wanting the treatment done. So we did the treatment and afterwards uh, she was able to bike ride so much further. She was able to, uh, because her airway improved, she didn't ex get exhausted where she normally had. When she was with her family, she was much further ahead of them than she normally was and was kind of surprised at first of why she was so much further ahead of them. But then she realized that she had the treatment and so it had given more energy. She was feeling better. She was able to uh, exercise longer than she had was able to previously. And also, too, in her case, she was actually able to swallow better uh, because her improved her airway. She didn't have to double swallow. It's like she was able to swallow one time. And it was just easier and smoother than it had been before. Now, I, there's something I had to ask you about, and that is that you say that people that their teeth are always breaking or their dentistry, like their veneers pop off or their crown breaks or this breaks, that that could be because of the way your teeth are coming together. And it could be when you're sleeping is when it's the damage is being done. Explain that to me. So when you're laying down, your bite and teeth oftentimes hit in a different spot. And if your airway is reduced, a lot of times your body will want to clench or grind to keep your airway open, which destroys your teeth. So many people don't think they clench or grind and they're like wondering why their teeth are breaking or chipping. We realize it's an airway issue. Uh, so if you address the airway issue and, and also position the teeth in a good spot, it helps protect the teeth and prevents the teeth from from breaking and chipping. Dr. Frith, we're um, out of time. Final message, somebody watching this, they've heard what you have to say. They have a lot of the symptoms, but for whatever reason, they're skeptical or they just can't get themselves to go to the dentist. What do you say to them? If you or somebody you know is a snorer, uh, can't wear a CPAP, wakes up feeling unrest in the morning, chipping, breaking their teeth, uh, know your options. Come see us and we'll give you an evaluation. If we can't do anything to help you or know somebody else who can, we'll let you know that as well. Good, good. And you'll work with their medical doctor if you have to, because like your, your father was saying that, that ear, nose, and throat uh, physicians are sending you patients now. Because I'll tell you, my, the medical doctors that come on my show and I interview medical doctors for a living, they are all saying, you got to find a qualified dentist that understands the bite in the airway to fix this problem. So this has turned into a, a very mainstream thing, even though that probably less than 5% of dentists are doing it. Uh, so, so thanks again. Thanks for coming on the program. And if they want to know more, they just go to your website. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Thanks again. Thanks. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 